वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन रेणुका इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ नीट टूडे इन बायोलॉजी लेक्चर वी विल टॉक अबाउट काउंटर करंट मैकेनिज्म द मैकेनिज्म फॉर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ फिल्ट्रेट काउंटर करंट मैकेनिज्म फर्स्ट व्हाट इज काउंटर करंट इफ यू लुक इन टू द डायग्राम ऑफ द नेफ्रॉन the henle's loop and vasa recta are in close association with each other it is a descending part of henle's loop ascending part of henle's loop counter current mechanism is carried out between the henle's loop and the vasa recta it's a e part of efferent renal arteriole the one branch is the vasa recta which is u shaped outer to the henle's loop now descending henle's loop and the ascending henle's loop descending vasa recta and the ascending vasa recta are in descending henle's loop is permeable to water whereas ascending henle's loop is permeable for the salt like nacl whereas descending and ascending vasa recta is permeable for water as well for the salt simply it follow the osmosis and the diffusion gradient phenomenon henle's loop is present in the medulla region where medullary fluid is present in the cortex region the fluid is also present but the difference is that in the cortex it is 300 milli or small per liter concentration whereas in the medulla region it is 1200 or small per liter concentration is found in the this medullary fluid which is also called as a interstitial fluid is mainly concentrated due to presence of nacl and the urea in it and this concentration is required for the osmosis of the water remember that when the filtrate pass through this descending henle's loop the water diffuses out from it as outer solution is more concentrated due to the difference in the concentration of the filtrate and the outer interstitial fluid concentration difference water come from henle's loop towards the outer side as water move from hypotonic solution towards the hypertonic solution and that is osmosis and so water diffuses out from the descending henle's loop as its wall is permeable for the water as i told earlier now when this filtrate enter or pass through the ascending loop the nacl diffuses out from this part as outer side nacl is less and sodium chloride ya yeah, na plus and sil minus ion follow the diffusion process or diffusion phenomenon it move from higher concentration to the lower concentration now the outer side of the henle's loop vasa recta is present nacl concentration is less in the vasa recta with compared to the fluid present in between this ascending loop and the vasa recta and so nacl enter here into the descending vasa recta when this blood enter into the ascending vasa recta here it is a more concentrated and so due to presence of nacl the blood in the ascending re vasa recta is more concentrated and that's why water again enter into the vasa recta or simply inside the blood from the interstitial fluid this way the filtrate moves from the henle's loop water come outside remain in the interstitial fluid and later on enter inside the blood of ascending vasa recta and this way as the filtrate loses water it become more concentrated and the blood get the water so blood become dilute or hypotonic and this way when the filtrate passes through the henle's loop the filtrate become more concentrated 
and that is why we always say that as the length of Henle's loop increases, the urine become more concentrated. Why? This is called counter current mechanism. Look at the diagram. Here, the movement of the filtrate is from cortex to the medulla. Then, in the ascending loop, it is from the medulla to cortex. And again, when it enter into the collecting duct, it again move from cortex to medulla. So, movement is in the three different trips. The first trip, cortex to medulla, second trip, medulla to cortex, third, cortex to medulla again. As Very. we observe in the diagram that the water moves in this direction, then blood moves in this direction. Again here the same, filtered moves this direction and blood moves in the lower direction. As we know the movement of filtrate and blood is in opposite direction and that is why it makes the counter current effect as the movement is in the opposite direction. So, the counter current mechanism is mainly responsible for the making urine more concentrated due to this anatomical arrangement in the kidney. Now, what is the role of urea? We know very well collecting duct is permeable for the urea. Little amount of urea diffuses out from the collecting tubule and this urea is also found or present here in the interstitial fluid or in the medullary fluid. And this way the source of urea is the collecting duct over here. This urea come outside from the collecting duct. And when water enter into the ascending vasa recta at the same time NaCl diffuses out from this ascending vasa recta and re-enter into the interstitial fluid, enter into ascending Henle's loop and this way this circular movement of urea is carried out in this region which facilitate the concentration of the medullary fluid and the osmotic movement of the water. So, this way NaCl urea is responsible for this counter current mechanism. This mechanism also maintain the osmotic concentration of the substances inside the medullary fluids. When the filtrate passes through this handler's loop, it becomes it is four times more concentrated than the initial fluid which form inside the Bowman's capsule. And this is counter current mechanism. Thank you.